how does IBEX's AI solution impact urology and what should urologists and patients know about the technology? I think there's two elements which are uh, relevant for urologists and even more so for patients. And one is to realize that there is potential there for missing a cancer. What we hear from urologists that they often find themselves normalizing on the pathologist who's done that week. Because, so they know this pathologist calls it a bit more conservative and they kind of fine tune the way they treat the report based on their experience with a specific pathologist. The advantage of a technology like ours, beyond just being accurate, you always will get the same result for the same case. So there's kind of a measure of objectivity that's there, that which is harder to achieve with, with, with human pathologists. Um, maybe a point which is really important to uh, clarify right now, our technology is not replacing pathologists. It's a tool. It's in a way no different than IHC stains. It's a tool which helps pathologists diagnose better and point their attention in areas where they need to look. Basically, you should think of the pathologist and the algorithm as a closed unit, and pathologists plus the algorithm perform better than pathologists without the algorithm. So that's a point which is really important to understand. I think there's one thing that I really want people to understand. There's a lot of buzz about AI and AI in healthcare. I think some people still have the sense that it's just a buzz right now. My message to your listeners is that this is reality. This is happening today. There are around 100 labs around the world which are using this on a daily basis as part of their practice. Interesting anecdote, we have all of the NHS trusts in Wales, for instance, have deployed our technology. A while ago, they had this incident where they had an issue with their digital pathology scanner, so they couldn't use the AI. They stopped signing out prostate cases for a few days until they could get the, the scanner back online. So once they started using it, they feel it's really something which is absolutely necessary. So, and I think this realization, it's now still fairly new technology, but I'm very confident that this will become standard medical practice. 